Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. All right, we're going to get to another podcast. I'm going to be talking about a movie called Stripes. Now, this movie was a coming-of-age movie for me. It came out in 1981. Perfect timing. I'm just about 10 years old. I think it's described as a war comedy. Directed by Ivan Reitman. It stars Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, uh, Sean Young, John Candy, John Larroquette's in it. There's a ton of funny people. Judge Reinhold. Great cast. And it is... A funny movie that holds up for me. Even trying to look at it critically, I can't see how you wouldn't enjoy this movie. It's fun. Funny as hell in parts. And has a really cool story that kind of goes along with it. It's not believable in that sense. You got a cab driver whose life spins out of control. He's, you know, got to get his shit together. And he decides to join the army, and that's where he meets his new crew, and it's just mayhem and fun, fun, fun. Fond memories of this movie. I have a particular fondness because of a certain couple of friends in uh, in whatever grade it was, third, fourth grade. Who knows? Uh, I guess I could figure it out if I did the math and it wasn't so stoned. One in particular, a couple that aren't with us anymore, uh, he will not be named, uh, we'll call him Conrad. Every time we would go on a school function, whether it was a trip or walking to religion instructions, going to the local parks or any type of field trips, all that type of stuff he did in school, we would sing the march that is sung in the song. I think there's a couple in the song, but one in particular. And it never failed... He would get the whole class going. Everybody would start singing in unison and marching. And it was one of the fun moments I remember as a youth being in school. Man, there weren't many, but it was so enjoyable. And you have a great coming of age movie for that time. It's just that good, that fun. It's all these actors at their peak. Even the newcomers that are coming in it, they're blending in well. You got this army battalion of misfits and nuts and this espionage is, uh, uh, I don't know, like a classified fucking RV unit. It's just incra- crazy. And they go off on uh, an adventure. It all culminates with them having to train and get their shit together or they're going to get, you know, uh, thrown out or reprimanded in some way. I don't remember the fucking thing, but I watch this movie a lot. I, I got, every time a new format comes out, I get it. VCR, whatever the fuck. Keep going down the line till now. Um, I have a DVD of it. I can't get enough of it sometimes. You just got to put it on and just get that uh, old nostalgia that actually is good and holds up. I haven't met a lot of people who haven't seen the movie Maybe because um, there's a difference in like a movie that's recommended, like Animal House. I think people, when they watch that, they're a little disappointed. It's a different genre. It's a different feel. I love it. I mean, I, I enjoy it, but I don't love it as much as this. I think this movie, whenever it was recommended, whenever it was... Uh, told by somebody you gotta watch this movie I don't think there are many people who didn't like it and didn't enjoy it like it didn't fit there. even now in the current day and age we're living in oh funny comedy about enlistment in the army a bunch of misfit battalion of people who have to get this shit together become a tight you know learn these marches and these songs and they start making them up it is awesome it fills me with joy the memories that come with it from school and those memories are tied with other memories you know my grandpa on my mom's side my aunt and my mom my brother it all kind of latches into those type of memories and 
events. Just the fun and joy of being a kid, having time to just bond and grow with friends who I know to this day, and we talk about these type of memories. So the movie really means a lot, other than being what I think critically is a great movie, great comedy. It fills a place in me when I watch it. Uh, brings that youth back, the love and joy at the time before things changed and got complicated. I think there's, um, what would I say is another movie that makes me feel like this? Uh, the Mel Brooks movie is also a coming of age movie. So I'd, maybe I'll do one on that too, because that, that's another movie I watch. And, oh, oh yeah, but I'll get to that. Stripes, funny war comedy, enlistment type movie, get the ragtag group together, learn all your stuff, but in the middle you got this adventure and they're not going to make it, they'll oversleep or whatever they got to do, they're all disheveled and just a bunch of fuck ups, An awesome movie, the direction, everything pacing, the fun factor versus unbelievability is just ramped up to a level that's just uh, so enjoyable that I totally recommend this movie. I don't think there's many comedies I can go back on and really think so fondly, and now some of you know why. There's just this wonder when you have such good friends, longtime friends, and the ones that aren't with us anymore, you tie them into these memories of just laughing, tears coming out of your eyes, joy, and, you know, you got your classmates and the interactions between everybody to get everybody to get together. It was spontaneous and uh, just good feelings. And this is before the day started as you got older and there were, like, race war type things and... Um, it's before the days of meeting people outside or uh, my bodyguard movie, right? Three o'clock. I'm going to do it on that. That's always a, it's a great movie. You know, there's that age before you, I guess, like, I guess seventh grade, it starts probably junior high. And this was 81. So I'm guessing fifth grade ish, fifth and sixth grade could be fourth, you know, my math. But I will always cherish those memories, my friendships. Man, some good fun times. Just being a kid, creative, and spontaneous enjoyment by everybody. I get why people like cheerleading and um, like even dancing and stuff. I mean, I'm not into it. I don't get into it. Maybe a part of me envies people that they're open enough to... I think I danced at a drum circle a couple of times. <laughs> I'm fucking peyote or whatever. So I guess maybe it's in there. But, you know, you, you cherish these moments and I'm thankful for them. I love all my friends. I will never forget these times. Watch the movie Stripes. Besides my personal attachment to it, it's just fun. Comedy gold. People at their peak. Shot well, directed well. Yeah, it gets a little outlandish with secret weaponry and uh, armored fucking RV something and going across fucking state lines. And it was all like, um, you know, blowing shit up at one point. It got crazy and I had to get back and, oh, we got we got, a, we got the drills or we're going to fail, we'll get kicked out. Well, watch it. What are you waiting for? Be good, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy.